Number 100 Jose Cruz is stuck at home in Arlington, Virginia, so he decides to take a random video of the rain. Only when looking at the video much later does he notice the ghost of a girl twisting in the wind for a brief moment before fading away. From what I understand, falling rain is one of the most difficult things to fake in terms of video editing, which makes me think the ghost sighting is real. The more times you look at it, the more it looks like she really does stop, consider him for a moment, and then goes on her way. I mean, wind or not, rain shouldn't move like that unless something is physically under it. Number 99 this strange video has me doing a double take, shared by TikToker Uwa Berm1997 and originally shared by bjoshua0902. The video shows a couple of partiers going down a water slide, but watch the second one closely. <laughs> It looks like a second pair of legs is sticking out to the side. Watch again. Is someone following closely behind the woman? It doesn't appear so. When she splashes into the water, no one pops up behind her. So what's going on here? The only explanation I can see is that there was another person following closely behind that somehow swam out of view during the splash, but I don't know. It sure doesn't look like that's what's happening. What do you think is going on here? Number 98. This ladder is walking down the driveway. No one's touching it. No one's around it. And it's actually walking down the driveway. That's the reaction of Tony Dode as he videotapes a walking ladder on its own. The ladder clatters down the driveway as if someone is guiding it in short steps, but nobody is near. If you have any possible explanations for this, or have seen this before with your own eyes, then please share your experience. If no one has a proper explanation, then this is one of the most perplexing videos I think I've analyzed on this channel to date. Number 97 Question, what's scarier than a theater at night? Answer, a haunted one. Published to TikTok, this appears to show the phantom caretaker of a haunted theater. Jay says the theater is supposed to be empty, but he keeps hearing a noise, so he's searching the theater to find its source. Alright guys, so I work at this uh, old theater and I've been hearing a noise. It's a really beautiful theater, as you can see, if you can see it at all. But I keep hearing a noise in here and there's not supposed to be anybody here, so... Suddenly, he glimpses something in an upper theater box. He can't quite capture what it is, but after backing up a bit and zooming in, he manages to focus on this. It looks like the ghostly figure of a little boy dressed in a suit, although the image is blurry. The scary figure is distinctly there, leering out from a theater box. Phantom of the Opera? An intruder? Maybe he's just a ghost fanboy waiting patiently for the play to start. Number 96 A security guard is patrolling the San Francisco College campus when he catches a glimpse of an all-black figure moving fast. He quickly rounds the corner and finds absolutely nothing there. Notice how the silhouette is traveling in a straight line at a high rate of speed and has no time to run up the steps or to hide on the right before the security guard catches up with it. I don't see any jump cut editing either, so I think this could really be an actual ghost. Number 95 Do you hear that haunting melody? It may be the vocalizations of an actual ghost. <sighs> Posted by Charger3933 to the Ghosts subreddit. This clip captures a ghostly song in the abandoned asylum, Eloise Psychiatric Hospital in Michigan, which we've discussed at length in previous Top 15s. Charger notes in the comments that he did not hear the singing during the visit, only afterwards when he listened back to the recording. 
The Redditor was wandering around the abandoned asylum with a friend when he heard disembodied footsteps coming up the stairs. As he tried to capture the footsteps via a Snapchat video, he heard screaming from a distance. He saved the video and later heard the haunting singing as well. Redditor Wubbelubbadubbadidu in the comments writes, Obviously, we have to take the audio with a grain of salt because it's possible someone was hidden in the building. That being said, I hear the screams and sleep freaky AF. The same Redditor later notes in the thread that the uploader basically caught an EVP. He also remarks that he too hears the footsteps or something moving nearby. The uploader states that he tried to stay as still as possible and that he would also consider this an EVP as he did not hear the singing in real time. Redditor quite fast agrees that the singing sounds like a lullaby. The Redditor tried to isolate the woman's voice and added a clearer clip to the thread. <laughs> The humming voice sounds even spookier with the audio cleared up, and it's quite fast notes. You can almost hear the words safe and sound. Do you feel safe and sound after watching this video? Number 94. This place just might be haunted by something nefarious. Published by Humboldt Pet Supply in October of 2018, the store's security camera footage reveals a series of creepy incidents that cannot be explained. The first involves a package falling off a shelf on its own. The shop attendant continues to shelve items and then heads over to put the package back. A moment later after she walks away, the package falls from the shelf again. This time it also moves across the floor a bit on its own. Another clip shows a cat named Diego pacing the shop. An incongruent shadow cat appears in the light from the doorway. There don't appear to be any other cats in the store but the real and the shadow one. In a third clip, another package falls from its place and moves strangely across the floor. It drifts slowly until it catches Diego, the cat's attention. As the cat approaches it tentatively, the package moves, causing Diego to jump. The cat paws it for a second before he decides he wants nothing to do with this. The package continues across the floor on its own. Is this perhaps the shadow cat playing around with the real one? Seems pretty catty to me. Number 93. The surveillance footage was taken from the Helmut Carr College in South Africa. A strange mist appears in the far doorway and slowly morphs into the shape of a girl wearing a long dress. She casually walks into a nearby classroom as if this was just another ordinary school day, except of course the room is empty and no one is in the building. Even though this is called Helmut Carr College, it's actually just a high school and this phantom-like figure does appear to be around the same size as an average student. This makes me think it could possibly be real, though I guess they could have just edited this girl into the video if they really wanted to. Number 92 TikToker Smug Puppy has experienced paranormal activity in her home since 1997. The activity comes in waves, lying dormant for years before spiking. This is one of those spikes. At first, she and her dad are just enjoying their morning. Are you enjoying my donkeys, dad? But then this happens a moment later. I can't believe I've just caught that on camera. The ghost confronts him, knocking the snack right out of his hands. Here it is again. This is the first time the ghost has ever done this to anybody. Some in the comments think the slap sounded off. Others think the ghost doesn't want people eating junk food. I think this looks legit, and if the ghost is starting to physically harm the home's residents, then this ghost needs to be removed from this home. Number 91 a Reddit user named Never2 shared the following video hoping for some potential answers as to what his mother captured on her driveway security camera late one night. What starts off as a simple piece of home surveillance footage quickly turns into something utterly pulse pounding as you will soon see. Wow.
So I'm, I'm just going to pause it again once it comes on screen here. We see a couple orbs just kind of flying around. But right here, this sort of ghostly presence starts here, disappears again, completely off screen, but is going to come back again right here and just kind of float off into the distance. I think what's especially freaky is that part right here where it's almost like the security camera glitches out and you can see it just a bit better once it does, which is just freaky to me. Kind of goes back and forth there and then it's just completely off screen to not be seen again. Just super, super creepy stuff. The strange figure's appearance on camera alone would be enough for some people to believe this is a paranormal entity, which is very understandable. But then again, it could be explained as a camera trick. But as soon as this strange flickering happens off to the left side of the screen, it is certainly hard to pass this off as anything but a ghost. Usually ghost videos are fairly hotly debated, but the comment section on this particular Reddit post seems to be in agreement that something odd was captured on the OP's mom's home surveillance camera. Whatever it is exactly though, is still uncertain. Number 90 after a mission to an old haunted railway tunnel, Crypto Girl 13 spied something mysterious in her footage while editing. Published in August of 2013, the Crypto Girl and her friend are navigating through the forest and mud to the mouth of the tunnel. After wadding through obstacles of sludge and climbing over large branches, they arrive at the entrance. Zooming into the deep darkness, the video starts glitching out as she talks about the story of a monster living in the tunnel. Old story that a uh, some kind of creature. I think that there's some kind of creature. Getting closer to the entrance, they hear some creepy noises inside. But it was upon editing the footage that they spotted these two glowing red orbs, which they believed to be eyes of the legendary monster. Were they closer to the cryptid than they ever imagined, or is there something else inhabiting this old railway tunnel? Since it's been almost 10 years, I don't know if this mystery will ever be solved. Number 89 when searching for ghosts in a haunted house abandoned in the jungle, be prepared to skip a step. This video posted to YouTube by Pratik Paul in July of 2015 purports to show a real ghost girl. In Matharan, India, the beautiful stone building in this clip is surrounded by foliage inside and out. The guide informs his audience about the house. According to him, it's one of the oldest houses in Matharan built during an era when the East India Company ruled in India. A general in the East India Company lived here with his family, including his wife and kin. Although the general was a generous man, during the time of the revolution, the house was lit on fire by rebel villagers. The colonel and his family could not escape. Within 30 minutes, the house was up in flames. Some say you can hear the sound of footsteps within the haunted house, and it's a general rule that no one should enter after 5 p.m. The crew is here at 5.30, hoping to capture on camera the ghosts that are said to haunt the place. After feeling unsettled by something, the camera whirls around and cries out that something is there. You can't see anything in the thick surrounding foliage. Although the cameraman states he saw a shadow, the other guy notes that it's just a cat, man. But then again, he says something feels wrong. The cameraman zooms in on a window opposite, and a figure with black hair can be seen there. One of the men says they heard a sound. That's when they decide to book it out of there and fast. What that? Guys, I had a sound right now. Okay, let's leave. Let's leave. Well, some are quick to call fake on this one. YouTuber Science Classes is a little more relenting writing. If it's true, then I too want to see that spirit. Do you too? Count me in as well. Number 88. Is this yet another creepy creature of the forest? Something pale and wide-eyed is playing peekaboo from behind this log. What is this thing? Some in the comments think it's a person wearing a mask, others think it's an opossum, but many think it's an owl, and I have to agree, unless it is, as Deflaco Napier suggests, a ghost bird. A 
I think I just changed my vote. Number 87. A YouTuber named Sean Durez decides to go ghost investigating with his friends at their studio office, which is apparently haunted. They meet up at 2am and are talking about what they should do next, when something in the next room over wrecks their plans. What, what actually was that? Approximately 10 seconds later, this sound fills the building. Listen to it and tell me if you think it's real or edited. Wait. Shh. By now, they are pretty much freaking out and ready to take off, but the spirit isn't quite through with them yet. You'll see absolutely nobody was nearby when this happens, which makes me think it could be real. All of the lights shut off before they get a chance to leave. One of them turns the camera light on just in time to see their friend blankly staring at them from the ground. I guess he could just be acting and one of his friends pulled him by his feet, but that still doesn't explain this actual ghost sighting at the very end. Let's go! I think this could be real because the raw adrenaline sends his friend barreling straight through a door. Number 86 Published in April 2017 by Steve Cody, this video allegedly shows a ghost haunting a swimming pool. In the description, Steve writes, I noticed my camera picked up motion around my pool about a week ago. After midnight, I watched the whole video with my wife, and there's a ghost or something floating over the pool. He said it lingered there for several minutes. The video does, in fact, show a light floating over his dark swimming pool at night. It just hovers in the top right corner of the screen, bouncing back and forth a bit. So what is it? A luminous ghost? A ghost holding something luminous? Whatever it is, don't go in the water. Number 85 Some property owners just can't let go. Posted by Sour Sweet Gone to the ghost subreddit, the previous owner of this restaurant makes his jealousy known. The security footage shows some employees behind the counter at the restaurant, preparing some paperwork. No customers are present, and that's probably a good thing. Suddenly, a framed picture on the wall falls straight down onto the one below it and flips over onto the floor. One of the workers literally throws his hands into the air, while the other jumps, covering her mouth in astonishment. According to the Redditor, the picture that fell was an award for the new owner's restaurant. Is the previous owner sore about their success? Some of the comments suggest the nail or wall fastening fell out or broke, but the Redditor has an answer for that and says the nail was still in the wall and the way it was hung made falling on its own seem unlikely. So what do you think? Broken nail or jealous ghost? I think that's a pretty fair explanation about the nail, so I'm definitely leaning on the side of the paranormal. Number 84 How would you feel if your CCTV camera caught this? Posted to the ghosts subreddit by RelevantHole5903. This footage of a woman in white was caught on camera in the dark of night. It shows a ghostly figure in white crossing the grounds outside of a gated building with barbed wire fixed to the top. The stranger walks slowly in her flowing dress until she leaves the camera's sight. Some are suggesting this is a classic walk of shame. Others think the Redditor lives next to some shady stuff, but some are sure it's the legendary La Lorena. If it is, stay clear of water, because the legend goes that she would take your life in the water. Redditor Blues Forever 67 writes, This is one of those instances where I think, what if we see ghosts all the time, but they're so vivid that we just think they're people? I have to agree with that statement. My mind has been blown by this footage. Number 83 A paranormal investigator named I Am Frankie Speed sets up motion tracking equipment in his house to capture a ghost on tape. After a while, he finds a strange figure creeping up his wall and hugging a mirror. He gets up and shows the mirror. Nothing here looks like a person, at least nothing that I can see, but I think shining the Kinect directly into a mirror might cause it to glitch out. What do you think? 
Number 82. Restaurant workers from Sansom Park in Texas think they've caught an authentic ghost sighting on CCTV video. A dark paranormal mist that exits the passenger side and goes into the building. I would say that this was an insect crawling across the camera, but watch closely and at 2 minutes and 4 seconds you'll see a flicker of lines across the screen moments before the ghost appears. EMF interference like this could be an indication of something paranormal. They felt this place was haunted for a long time and are finally excited to have proof. Tell me if you believe them. Number 81. If you're about to blame some nighttime mischief on your pet, Hold off for a hot minute and watch this. Posted to the r slash ghosts subreddit, Barton Allwright said his cat has been knocking things over at night for the past few weeks and waking them up, which is unlike him because he's a quiet cat during the day. So they set up a surveillance camera to try and catch him in the act. This is what they found. The first segment shows something fluttering the leaves of this flower on the table, but we know it's not the cat because he passes by the couch to the left. Later, as the cat is sitting on the couch, a dish towel falls from the fridge. Then an object is heard moving in the kitchen, and a close-up reveals the thing jiggling on its own on the counter. At the same time, a strange shadow appears on the front of the counter, although it's not clear if it's the cat being alerted to the sound or something else. Soon after, another object falls loudly from the countertop. Thus, we cannot see too well, nor do we know where the cat is. Then, after a strange orb moves through the scene, something else moves on the counter and is pushed to fall to the floor, all while the cat is perched on the table far away, watching. <laughs> then another object falls loudly next to it, which scares even the cat. This one wakes the owner up, who calls his cat a pain, but after watching the video in the morning, we're sure he regrets that. Was this cat, as some redditors suggest, just protecting her owner at night? Number 80. According to YouTuber one Supernatural Studio, a gambler lived in this place. He lost all the land in a bet and then chose to take his own life. Let's see if his presence remains. The ghost hunter quickly gets a reading. Inside his meter spikes. The spike occurs right next to a mirror. Could this be a portal into another world? As he continues to search, he hears a voice. Here it is again with the infrared on. He asks the spirit to touch a paranormal device. It seems to me that the spirit is here, but what the spirit's intentions are remains a mystery. Number 79. Redditor Everyone is Human shared the following video to Reddit with a short read up that says, My sister in law's ring camera captured this tonight. I have never been a believer, but I am struggling to dismiss this. Please weigh in on it. So let's have a look and see if we can help the uploader in figuring out what was filmed on the camera that night. So, I need you to focus your attention, so if we're looking at the center beam here, about dead center on the center beam, and then to the left, about halfway in between this center beam and this beam here, and you just see that thing, 
just move. All right, now it's and now it's between these two beams. Just huffing it down the sidewalk. Still on camera here. But it looks like whatever this is, it, it almost looks like the ghost of somebody out for an evening jog as it starts on the left side of the sidewalk here and just continues down the sidewalk for the entire video. Whatever it is almost appears kind of translucent as well. You'd think if it was just a person, like an actual person out for a jog, it would be a lot more visible on camera. It would, it would just look like, a, you know, just a regular person on camera. This almost looks not only translucent, lucent but it's kind of floating in the air i can definitely see why this uploader who is usually a skeptic when it comes to this sort of thing is having a hard time coming up with a logical explanation of what exactly happened on the security footage it certainly looks to be some sort of ghostly figure out for an evening stroll but one can only hope that's not the case some viewers suggest that it could actually just be the camera that's making an ordinary person look like a ghost is this actually a ghost walking around in clear view or is this just a camera trick on a regular person i'll let you decide number 78 a man is filming this old medieval building on the Mediterranean island of Sardinia when he notices the curtains of a balcony window are peeled back slightly to reveal a small grayish object peeking out from the bottom Zoom in, and it almost looks like a tiny face, or else the top of someone's head who is very short, perhaps a small child. It could be a reflection of the palm tree swaying in the wind, or it could be a trapped spirit staring haplessly at the world to which it no longer belongs. Number 77. This poltergeist is about to throw down. Redditor What I Imagine shares this video of a very aggressive ghost. Due to the poltergeist's aggression, I'm convinced that this isn't staged. How can anything but the paranormal act unseen with such aggression? Many in the comments think this video was staged with fishing line. Hmm, I don't know though. It looks pretty compelling to me. Number 76. A ghost was seen in Banaras, India, walking across rooftops. The sighting scared many locals and led to a police investigation. Twitter user Banarasians tweeted this video of the incident. Did you see the figure? Take a closer look. So far, the police haven't discovered what the figure was or who was behind it. Maybe that's because it's absolutely real. What do you think? I'm on the fence with this one. Number 75. A YouTuber named Rose of Decay records a scary Snapchat face swap video that leaves her wondering if she had a real ghost encounter. Hi. Are you bad? What's really creepy is how this mirror image kind of has her eyes, but at the same time they're all black. The bizarre face goes away for a while, and then comes back as soon as she has a question. Can you talk to me? This time the apparition has its mouth open wide as if screaming. It's probably just a software glitch detecting a face in the mirror that isn't there. So I don't think it's necessarily real, but I don't see anything that remotely looks like a face. So hey, that's real enough to me. Seeing an alternative version of yourself scream while well, no one is there is definitely creepy nonetheless. Number 74. This one will make you scream and give you nightmares. Posted by Sermi127 in September of 2007. This YouTube video went so viral that it prompted this YouTuber to create a pantry ghost documentary. Sermi writes, 
It has been five months since the last sighting of the ghost in my pantry. I film the door myself at 1234 every night for four months, waiting for some paranormal activity. On September 19th, I capture what may be the first real ghost video proof. So let's take a look at this proof. The beginning of the video shows the pantry door opening of its own accord in the darkness. The man filming walks towards the door and shuts it, and as he backs away, a freaky figure presses its face and hands against the glass of the door. As he backs up, the horrifying thing disappears. For some reason, he then approaches the door again, jerking it open, but there's nothing there. The contents within the pantry appear untouched. Did your hair stand on end? Did you scream? Some in the comments of this video did. This video had me afraid of what might be lurking behind the closed doors in my plate. Number 73 A man at work accidentally locks himself in a large attic. He's trying to open the door when he hears a strange noise and decides to start recording. He thinks out loud that it could be a rat or a pipe as he cautiously continues to film. I'm getting kind of a spooky vibe up here. Right there. There it is again. Soon he realizes that the strange thump is coming from the very top of some steps that he has never seen before. He climbs the steps and suddenly feels like he is no longer alone. Hello? Apparently he was right. Whoa! Something clatters to the ground and sends him running down the steps. I'm not sure how he managed to get out, but when he did, I'm sure he was glad he had plenty of video evidence to back up his claims. Number 72 If you encountered ghost footprints at your workplace, would you be able to continue working there as though nothing happened? Published to YouTube by Korean channel Saiwon Yoon in April of 2020, the uploader writes, the footprints of ghosts caught by the CCTV in the recording studio. The surveillance footage shows a recording studio at night. After capturing an odd glitch on camera in a certain area of the studio, which the uploader notes look like footprints, the crew sets up some paranormal sensors to see whether or not any spirit activity exists in the room. As you can see, the sensors are blowing up. They indicate something is moving in the darkness. Imagine sensing a paranormal presence in the studio, something you cannot see with the human eye, and then having that presence confirmed via these sensors. The idea certainly disturbs some sound technicians. YouTuber Hyansik Wu wrote in the comments, I was also surprised when I watched the video. I can't broadcast alone. I can't go to the studio at night. Would you be able to after seeing this? Because this footage appears real to me. Number 71 Kevin Ramos is holding a paranormal investigation session at the Fort Delaware, which was in use from the mid-1800s to the mid-1900s, and is said to be ripe with spiritual activity even after being decommissioned well over 50 years ago. After a day of walking, they stop and ask a few questions to the spirits upon nightfall. Look what happens when they try to get to know more about the ghost of a person stationed here. Did you like him? Can you cross the rod if you liked him? First, a white apparition passes by, followed by a black shadow that one of them actually catches out of the corner of their eye. This isn't their reflection in the window because none of them are walking. And in this exact moment, this person thinks they feel a tap on their shoulder and shine a light behind them to make sure. It definitely looks like something was near them to say the very least. Why she didn't say something as soon as it happened is something I don't know. I guess they were too scared at the time. Number 70 a YouTuber named Sunny Cooper has recorded a shadow moving back and forth that looks out of place. Maybe together we can figure out what this strange shadow belongs to. It starts out going one direction, then it comes back the other way. Uh. 
It almost looks like a rat or a small animal of some sort, but that still doesn't explain how it appears to instantly teleport across a large gap twice. I guess this could just be some sort of time-lapse editing, but something about the way the shadow moves looks like it was recorded in real time. Let me know if you have any explanation for what's happening here. Number 69 have you ever met a ghost on a cruise ship? Well, here's your chance. Published on July 25th, 2010 by YouTuber Jim Van Eekhout, this video allegedly captures the whales of the Queen Mary Pool Ghost. The retired ocean liner was active from the 27th of May 1936 to the 31st of October 1967 on the North Atlantic. According to some, the ship is haunted and regular ghost tours visit the Queen in the wee hours of the morning to witness the supernatural. Not only that, but the historic treasure now operates as a museum, hotel, restaurant, and all-in-one tourist destination. While it may seem like the ghost stuff was just tacked on for the charm of it, some claim that a murder actually did occur on the ship in one of the staterooms, and the victim's ghost is said to haunt that room till this day. One of these tales seems to be that of a baby named Jackie, who lurks near Queen Mary's pool. According to the uploader, there were no children in the tour group, which set out at 1 a.m., but listen closely. You hear that. It's a baby crying. The black and white video is creepy enough with the empty deserted pool below and the crowd standing around with blank faces, but then you hear that eerie wailing of an infant followed by the humming of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. It's enough to send chills up your spine. Although the humming is credited to one of the investigators, the baby's cries are credited to the ghost of Jackie, which leaves us wondering what happened to baby Jackie and why do her cries remain here? Number 68 a social security office is a pretty strange building to be haunted, but a YouTuber named Joshua Bragg is convinced. After capturing two of the scariest moments on CCTV video that he still cannot explain. Back up a little bit, there it goes, down here in the corner. It's not a bug, people. I don't know what this is. I always know that there's a ghost in this place. It's so creepy. I was thinking this dark, orb-like figure was an insect, except here's the thing. Joshua has seen the same figure before on a different security camera, in a different room, on a different night. Last time, it went out the back entrance and walked across the parking lot in a straight line. Right here. That is no bug. That is no bug. I think he's right because an insect walking across should look like a solid black shape. Whatever this is looks translucent and is therefore most likely something paranormal. Number 67 A ghost in the basement of a construction site terrifies workers so much they try to avoid going down into the creepy place altogether. But one day, after all of their power tools mysteriously fail at the same time, a worker has gone exploring the haunted basement to reset the breakers. Like I said, the ghost terrifies the other workers too much to go down there with him. He does not feel safe, so to make himself feel better, he makes a video. It sounds like a good idea, except what he's caught on that video now haunts him forever. Let's run that back. He passes two dark and seemingly empty rooms in a long, narrow passage. In the second room, there looks to be something scary in the basement. A ghostly gray figure appears to pull itself across the cold concrete floor. He hears shuffling from behind. He doesn't see the ghost and keeps exploring the catacomb-like maze for the circuit box which is buried in one of these dark rooms. Yeah. 
Something in the darkness startles him moments before a strange and mysterious light spills into the hall. When the scared construction reaches the room, he finds it is devoid of all light and the paranormal feeling is twice as strong. His reaction? Run out of the dark hallway like crazy and upload the creepy video on YouTube. He later says he was terrified to learn other workers had seen a similar flash of light after going down there and getting this strange and mysterious shape. This video from December 13th, 2019 is the only upload on his channel. No further updates on the creepy place. It looks like someone made a new account to anonymously share their scary basement video for us all to see and then probably quit on the spot by running for their lives. Number 66 A group of ghost hunters called PXTV go deep in the Wombwell Woods, a haunted forest in the UK where many people sadly go to take their lives. They split up to cover maximum ground and one of them, Steve, finds a spot he deems suitable to begin an EVP session, which stands for Electronic Voice Phenomenon. He sets up his EVP box and asks any spirits nearby to make a light go on. When it does, he asks for two lights, but gets this verbal warning instead. Can you make two lights light up? Ovilus has just said run. But something descends upon Steve before he gets a chance to do as told. <gasps> I didn't exactly see anything, but Steve says that he was pushed out of the way by something nearby. And when he looks at his EVP box, the translator displays the word run written in all capitals. I'm not sure if there's any way to tamper with these devices and make them say pre-programmed messages or not, but assuming this video really is unaltered, then the evidence is all right there to see. Number 65 If you ever crept through cemeteries looking for ghosts, then you might regret finding them. This video was posted in March of 2012 saying, been taking video of local cemeteries for a while and examining them from frame to frame. Found the image of what looks like the ghost of a young boy from around the early 1900s by the way he is dressed. The video was filmed in Kinder Cemetery and as the sign reads, the cemetery was established in 1902, so plenty of time for ghosts to lay down their claim. As the camera pans the cemetery, you can see a short-lived flash of light near a grave. Can you spot it? While well, some in the comments of this video doubt that it was anything more than a flash, others like YouTuber Dang Cho claim to see hair sticking out of the red circle. YouTuber Yvette Sanchez notes that it is an apparition. Of course, the ghost is not going to be easy to spot, but if you look hard enough, you can see something is there. Well, you can certainly see a flash. It's a bit of a stretch to say the ghost is of a young boy from the early 1900s in my opinion. You can't really make out anything more than the light. But what is that glow? Is it the young spirit shining? Or is it just a trick of the light? Number 64 Better do it just to be safe. Published by Scary Chills G, this short clip was captured in May of 2010. A man is on his computer facing his webcam, when behind him on the bed, his jacket moves. As he turns to look, suddenly his wardrobe bursts open on the other side. He springs from his seat and goes to check it out, seemingly finding nothing. He turns back toward his computer and then sprints from the room in fear, without further explanation. What did he see there? Or was he afraid of what saw him? Number 63 a research team known as Ghost in Mystery wants to reveal all of the paranormal activity happening in their home country of Bangladesh, of which there is plenty to be found. They go exploring a haunted place in the woods. Everything in the forest seems to wail at them not to go inside. <laughs> And someone tell me why they hear a child's voice while investigating this well. Okay. Hallucination. 
freaky, right? The same ghost child's voice returns once more after they find a way inside, perhaps to shout a warning. <laughs> Look again. At 17 minutes 4 seconds, they briefly pause on a large figure next to a meat hook. That can't be good. One investigator feels overwhelmed by a paranormal feeling, a wave of negative energy if you will, and they need to rest. That's when they chance upon a makeshift stick hut in the woods behind the abandoned house. Wait, I see something really scary inside. <laughs> Their light crosses the glowing eyes of a large figure standing on two legs. It's there for but a moment, and then the unknown creature sighting is no longer caught on camera. They end the paranormal exploration shortly after. Number 62. Baba Singh is riding at night when he sees a fluttering figure in white robes at the side of the road. Tell me what he says here at 55 seconds upon contact. Oh, bhai. Oh, bhai. Oh, bhai. Oh, bhai. It looks like it could be a ghost with its back turned to him and possibly floating in midair, perhaps at the very same spot where its life concluded, but I'm not sure. Let me know if you think this video from India is a real ghost sighting or just an encounter with a person dressed in all white. Number 61 A person cautiously follows a winding road at night using only the light on their phone to guide them. They sense danger on the right and look over. Nothing is there, but their feeling of being watched does not go away. So they look over again and that's when they make contact. A short creature with a portly body, atop long legs, does its best to escape the flashlight. At 1 minute and 36 seconds, we see that the overall grey colouring of the creature, when under the light, does match the rest of the background remarkably well. There's no obvious blurring around the edges of the creature either, which indicates that this may in fact be authentic, unedited footage. Number 60 a reminder that you never know what or who is behind you. This short clip will have you looking over your shoulder. The video shows a man entering a small elevator. A ghostly woman enters slightly behind him. You can see her in the mirror, distracted on his phone. The man doesn't seem to notice he has company, but when he turns around, the woman has vanished. He is alone in the lift, or at least appears to be. Those in the comments are dying to know where the phantom stalker went and whether or not this man made it out of the elevator. I hope he's alright, but it's really not looking like that's the case. Number 59 A ghost investigating TikTok account called Gateway Paranormal TN experiences brief success when they detect the frame of a ghost standing on the table next to them. Go walk on the other side of the desk. Is that a map? But the ghost disappears when he tries to get closer. What's especially odd about this video is how the ghost seems to briefly lean forward, as if trying to resist him, and then gets bumped out of the frame. I was thinking this looked too small to be a ghost, but when compared to the wireframe of one of the ghost investigators, it seems to be in normal proportion. Whether it's a real ghost or just a computer error, they aren't able to recreate it, so it might have been a once in a lifetime occurrence to which we'll never get the true answer. It's gone. Number 58. Okay, so a YouTuber named Shadowbreak wants to know if he's caught a ghost on his home security system or if it was something else. His dog is staring at something in the distance when the door opens by itself only a little bit. No one is touching the door, but it kind of looks like it's being held open. 10 seconds after the door opens, the dog's ears go up. It seems to follow something through the yard, almost like somebody walked out the door and passed the dog. After staying open for almost 20 seconds, the door suddenly pops open even more for no reason at all. The owners finally take notice and look out, startled, wondering what this could be. It doesn't seem like the wind because nothing else in the video is getting blown around. I can't think of what else besides the wind would make a door open like that, except perhaps a ghost. Number 57 
A girl and the person filming were innocently playing around outside, but they were not alone. Published YouTube in May of 2019, nightmares abound after watching this video, which is gaining attention in the Spanish-speaking YouTube community. The clip shows a girl playing with a ball outside a yellow fenced-in building. She runs up to the fence, behind which a pair of swings are wrapped together in knots. After a moment, the girl points at something, or someone behind the camera person, who turns around to see what she's indicating. There is no one in the distance across the field, but there is someone right behind her. The ghoul of a girl appears semi-transparent as the camera shot falls. We can only imagine the camera person fled in fear from this thing she was not meant to see. Tag, you're it. Game over. Number 56. A TikToker named Sarimar Munez finds herself laid out across the floor in surprise. At this ghost sighting, which she is about to point out in a moment, she is singing a musical when a small gray face pokes into the shot and then retreats. The way it moves on its way out looks better than most edited videos, so either she put a lot of effort into this one, or as much as I wish it wasn't, maybe it's real. Number 55 This is what happens when your doll comes to life. Posted on the Ghosts subreddit by Redditor, Enigma's Light 209 who writes, Years ago my sister had a Dora doll. However, we never put batteries in it because at the time we couldn't afford a lot of stuff. My sister was singing and playing with the doll. Not noticing the doll turns its head to look at her. The clip is creepy enough to give you nightmares. The user's sister is in the bathroom, singing and playing at the sink. Her doll is perched beside her, motionless and staring off to the right. About 15 seconds in, the doll's head suddenly turns, looking directly at the camera and into our souls. Nothing more happens in the video, but the way the doll's head snaps around is reminiscent of a bad child's play-like scenario. My advice, destroy that doll immediately. Fire would probably be the best. Number 54 Jonathan F.O.D. and his friends go exploring an abandoned meat processing facility building that everyone in town says is haunted, but the air quotes around ghost seems to mean he doesn't quite believe it. So supposedly, there's a ghost that runs around here. Soon he will. Oh, shit. Hey! Who's here? As Jonathan, FOD, and his two friends are ghost hunting in some kind of tool shed, they get what they think could be some paranormal evidence caught on tape. What the? Bro, you heard that, bro? bro what the fuck is that? Bro. Is anybody there? Oh. Oh. All three of them are on camera when these noises happen. You can see they are just standing there with their hands down so it can't be them. Maybe Jonathan had a fourth person making all of that noise, but I don't see how they could have faked that ghost EVP at 8 minutes and 50 seconds. It really does sound like the muffled voice of a small child. What the? Where are you at, bro? What the that? Number 53. Nothing will make you want to skip work more than this next video. Published by Real Ghost in September of 2015, this ghost was captured in an office one night. The video shows a darkened room. As the camera pans around, a semi-transparent robed figure appears in a window to the kitchen. When the camera quickly pans back, the figure is no longer there. Are we dealing with an office ghost straight from Tales of the Crypt? He's definitely not here to do some light paperwork. Number 52. Is this a ghost or not? Is what the uploader of this potentially paranormal video wants to know. First, let's watch this intro. Welcome to Inspector Gadget. As soon as he introduces himself, 
an object moves by itself behind him, or maybe a ghost introduces itself in return he suspects. I think the object fell forward on its own because it was top heavy. This video could explain a lot of other alleged ghost sightings on YouTube where an object moves on its own. But I don't think this was faked on purpose. Just a coincidence is all. What do you think? Real ghost or not really? Number 51 it's not surprising to most of us when schools are haunted. Just think of all the evil that goes on there. Posted by Dundee into the Ghosts subreddit. The Redditor writes that this is from his old middle school, a Coal River Heights school and was taken in 2013 or 14. This short video appears to show a phantom in the hallway of the middle school. It floats past unsuspectingly, appearing for only a couple seconds before vanishing out of sight. Dundee provides further details of the video's origin in the comments of this clip, explaining who is behind it. All I really know of it is that it was my friend's mom who knew the janitor, and he sent her the video of this. I'm guessing that he wasn't sure that he could record the screen somehow. Redditor Wintry Rock then wondered what the janitor's backstory was, as he was curious why the janitor took the video, and if he suspected paranormal activity. Without this information, skeptics in the comments suspect this is a bug, thinking it's a spider. Others are leaning towards the paranormal, with many expressing fear of what this is. Are you afraid? Number 50 This YouTuber shakily records their apartment while inspecting every last corner. It's obvious that they no longer feel safe here and want to record for proof. Nothing is out of the ordinary until they silently cross into the bedroom. And that's when the horror is revealed. A girl with long black hair over her face sits crumpled on the floor. Look again and you'll see that even her arms and feet have no detail at all, like a silhouette. When he checks again to make sure he is not seeing things, he's surprised to find she is all gone. Number 49 Is that a ghost in the window? Posted to TikTok by Trina M. Ward in the video. Trina says she's at the Martin house and that nobody lives here, is supposedly haunted. According to Trina, a man went crazy in the home and took the lives of his whole family. Some say they've seen the children's ghosts in the home. Trina was driving by randomly when she saw this in the window. The figure on the second floor looks like a child. Some notice a larger figure standing behind the child. Several in the comments warn that the child ghost is not what it may seem. Shay Zombie writes, Children's spirits don't stay on this plane. It's a demon trying to draw someone in. Don't be drawn, or you might become the next person this house draws in. Number 48 If you're feeling a presence in your basement, there's probably a reason. Published to YouTube in October of 2019, the uploader explains that this was the first footage she captured of a ghost on her laptop with Xbox One Kinect. She says other paranormal things occurred along with the Kinect footage, including her laptop's battery running out of juice quickly and a plastic Walmart bag moving of its own accord, despite no draft being present. As the uploader demonstrates the Kinect's capabilities, it shows only her limb movement for a while when she brings a doll lacking a head and places it on a rocking chair. Something appears to be hovering by a bookshelf in the background, something with lime green energy. It remains there for a long while, but when the woman places the baby head on the door, a new Kinect figure appears right next to the rocker, or perhaps the same figure has moved. This time, its energy appears aqua. It remains there active for a very long time and then disappears at one point. When the woman walks past it to sit down on the couch, it doesn't again reappear. It's either about time to move or to throw out that doll, or both. Number 47 While exploring Liverpool's most haunted hotel, the Adelphi, Jess and Ellie get the feeling they're not alone. Many have seen and heard strange things inside the haunted hotel, which was built in 1826 before being replaced in 1911. Wealthy passengers would stay here before embarking on their cruise liner journey to North America. Many famous people from Sinatra to Bob Dylan to Roosevelt and Churchill have also been guests. 
but it's the past on that call this place home. Published in January of 2022, Jess and Ellie wander through the historic hotel with its ballroom and haunted hallways. They check themselves into the purportedly haunted room 179. When they break out the spirit box, they realize the ghosts here are quite aggressive. <laughs> Then they ask if the spirit wants them to leave or stay, and they're given a clear answer. Do you want us to stay? Jess is the same voice. It is. I'm getting. The ladies did end up leaving that night. I'd be too freaked out to stay in the Adelphi a minute longer either. Number 46. Ghost Tales published this video in 2013. The description reads, Dog senses a ghost in the room. Captured on film is the ghost actually throwing the ball. The clip begins with the doll just staring into the living room, then all of a sudden she starts barking. She retreats into the kitchen, where her owner stands filming the strange event. The dog heads slowly back into the living room, sniffing around. She creeps back in, lifting a leg tentatively as she peers out into the living room. There appears to be something draped on the table and the dog starts barking towards it. The dog then picks up a ball it found on the floor and then gets distracted by something else she found on the floor. Then she hears a noise that makes her spring and stare at the thing on the table again. She sniffs around it and is distracted again by the ball. Although the dog in this video does seem to be spooked by something, it doesn't appear as if the ball was thrown at it. As the author claims, but if you see it in this clip, let us know in the comments. Number 45. A TikToker named Jayla has a strange and creepy window that she attributes to a helpful ghost. Really want the window to open, Mr. Ghosty. Can you keep opening it for me? I didn't do anything. Clean room. Did everything that I uh, A little bit more, please. I can't leave. I feel like I'm missing some kind of obvious scientific explanation as to how this window is able to do this by itself. It would be weird enough for a window to go down on its own, but one going up is just a whole other level of bizarre. She seems way too calm for it to be a spirit, but maybe she is used to its presence by now. If not, what else could it be? Number 44 Hina Tahir and her sister are camping in New Jersey's Double Trouble State Park when they notice a strange woman who is half submerged in a local lake. Her clothes are all white, and she has a serious expression on her face as she sways in place. To this very day, the two girls aren't sure if what they recorded was a live person or a ghost. If it was a person, then I have absolutely no idea why they would be in the water. Well, fully clothed, and if it was a ghost, then maybe her body is lurking in the shadow waters below. Whatever the case may be, Hina and her sister decide to leave the woman in peace and dare not go any closer. Number 43 the Sorrel Weed House is said to be one of the most haunted buildings in all of Savannah, Georgia. Two different women have met their end here, one of them named Matilda, who is said to still roam the courtyard in her black dress. While taking a tour of the area, a YouTuber named Billy Smith captures this quick video of a woman fleeing the house, wearing an all-black corset. What's weird is how she never actually opens the front door to her left. Instead, she appears out of nowhere to cross the space between two columns, and then does emerge from the other side. According to Billy, this figure was heading in the opposite direction of the parking lot, so if they were a staff member, they would have to double around to get to their car eventually. He waited until 1.30 in the morning and saw no one else from the house for the rest of the night and certainly no other traces of her. Number 42 Translated from Portuguese, the video's title, the Bride of the Train Line gives us some inclination of what fears to expect. Published to YouTube by Ravana in July of 2017, a group of adventure seekers are wandering down a train track at night. 
For a long while, they walk without encountering anything unusual. In the darkness, there's no one for miles around. City lights twinkle in the distance, but the group appears to be far from town. As they walk and chat carelessly along the train tracks, the camera pans to the side for a moment, where it captures this figure in white. Nossa, my <laughs> Terrified screaming ensues as the men turn to run back the way they came. The bride figure 2 appears to race away from the tracks, presumably back to her haunted wedding. Does this deter you from jumping trains at night? If not, then you might be next in line to catch the ghostly bridal bouquet. Number 41 a parenting channel called The Mommy Wayopedia has thousands of subscribers who are looking for heartwarming family videos. Paranormal content is not what they seek, and I don't think she's playing around when she uploaded a rather realistic ghost sighting video for fans to analyze. So here's the background story on this video. She's been seeing some weird things on CCTV camera for the past week or so, but never had the phone nearby to record, and does have a memory card for the camera, so she waited near the CCTV monitor for a couple of days for the paranormal entity to return, and this creepy sighting of a mysterious figure is what she has since caught on camera. The mother tries to keep the fear out of her voice as she tells her son to keep reading a book out loud. Oh. Oh, I hear. You read the book, baby. Okay. She doesn't want to scare him. She can't take her eyes off what she sees. Seated on the ground facing the courtyard on the first floor is this exquisitely eerie ghost sighting. A woman with long hair and a gown. She's across from the main entrance waiting for them to come out. The see-through figure does not move, but look closely and at 10 seconds, you'll see this object across from the ghost is moving all by itself. Or maybe it's the wind. The mommy Wayopedia has no idea what this ghost wants from her or her family and is seeking advice on what to do next. I would say this is a camera glitch, but she's been seeing it on different monitors across different places, so it appears to be an actual ghost. With that in mind, the only thing left to do is either confront it or hope it goes away, and I'm not sure if either is going to get her any peace. Number 40 Two friends look out the window and see a mysterious figure dressed in all white, roaming the graveyard without shoes. She has her head down and pays absolutely no attention to them, even as they call out to her. Hey! What you doing, girl? Yo, that is creepy you know, as. What the? F what happened? What the f is she doing? Why is she touching other people's graves? Finally, she starts to walk towards them, and they quiet down. One of the friends quickly points out that now she knows where they live. He screams out the window that she's scaring him, and she walks away, still completely lost in her own world. Here's where things get even more weird. She heads to the back of the graveyard, spins around a few times, and then disappears behind a tall gravestone. I'm holding this camera until she come out from behind that tombstone. Yo, she's not coming back. She's gone. Where the f did she go? We watched her walk behind the tombstone and she's gone. They think that she has vanished, but I think she could have just been sitting down on the other side. The two friends say that they kept filming for a long time and never saw her again, so maybe she really did disappear. Still, it's hard to tell if this was a genuine spirit or just someone with a morbid attraction to graveyards. Number 39 A Redditor named Steezy Steve 7 posted this work camera video of the creepy basement at his coffee store job. It's a quarter to one in the morning when his boss receives a phone notification of movement down there. This is what tripped the motion detection equipment. 
that looks like it could be a ghost to me, but maybe it's also a piece of a spider web? This basement looks like it has plenty of them. Can someone let me know if spider webs can set off motion detection equipment? I think they probably could, in which case, mystery solved. Number 38. Mr. Hammer is a fearless ghost hunter from Saudi Arabia who is always charging forward no matter how scary things get while exploring haunted, abandoned places. He's exploring abandoned houses like usual when he begins to feel like he's being followed. Something's different about this urban exploration. He's not unsure if it's a paranormal encounter he's having or if a stranger is messing with him. Let's try to make sense of the scary stuff and creepy things happening in this bizarre video. <laughs> The mysterious figure is what has been following him since he was first outside of the abandoned building. <laughs> Ironically, a ghost sighting is what Mr. Hammer's after, but a ghost sighting is what he misses in real life. <laughs> Somehow, he does not see a creepy man looking at him from the doorway. Oh well, at least he caught it on tape for our analysis. I think this is more likely a friend of his pretending to make paranormal things happen instead of a real ghost sighting caught on camera. Almost anyone would have seen that mysterious figure in the doorway, especially if they were already on high alert. Number 37 Solo Brenner claims to have caught a ghost on camera at an abandoned cemetery somewhere in Brazil. Across the street is a shadow figure caught moving on tape. It looks pretty decent until you zoom in and see the ghost sighting is most likely a blur effect or a camera glitch. The date and time look messed up too, further evidence that the CCTV video has been edited and not paranormal. Number 36 This is one for the books. Published by ABCD in April of 2009, this phantom was reportedly captured in Bangalore. The scary clip shows a semi-transparent woman emerging from a wall. With long dark hair and dressed in white, the apparition glides across the floor, traveling straight through all objects around her, including a gate, before disappearing out of frame. What do you think of this full-bodied apparition? I'm just gonna put it out there. It's one of the realest looking ghosts I've ever seen. Number 35 A man on a train awakes to find someone staring at him in a weird way. A ghost in the window to be precise. The pale figure doesn't move, supposedly locking eyes with the passenger, who at this point is beyond creeped out, feels watched, and thinks this is some scary stuff to wake up to. When zoomed in, it could be the reflection of something inanimate, though of what I'm not so sure. Whatever it is, the transparent outline of a face is still visible nonetheless. If you still can't see it, look on the right side of the window and you'll see a weird face with a long, narrow nose and all black eyes pressed against the glass. I assume the person who caught this on camera takes this train often and has never seen anything like this before. So what could this strange sighting be? Number 34 Is the spirit hiding? Posted to the ghosts subreddit by Leonardo da Fuzzy, this ghost hunter is about to find out. After hearing noise in an adjacent room of this abandoned home, the ghost hunter ventures inside, and then this happens. Something is behind this locked door trying to get out. The ghost hunter moves forward and pulls the door open but there's nothing inside. He steps further in, and despite the fact that there's no one there, even more poltergeist activity happens. <laughs> Scaring him out of the room, he returns only for the same thing to happen again. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> 
As many in the comments note, this video is from YouTuber Adventure Alla, and most agree that it's one of the most realistic hauntings they've seen. Is it real or just all camera angles? Redditor Navin Pearson has another theory. They wrote, It's just the house settling. I think we can all agree that the other explanation is a tad more exciting. Number 33 A TikToker named Erica R. 1971 captures this full moon footage of a potential ghost sighting shortly after her father passes away. Knowing if this was a motion-activated camera or not would have been a big help determining if this was a real sighting or just a glitch. If the camera really does turn on by itself like I think it does, coupled with the recent passing of her father, then I'd say this is almost definitely real. Number 32 There's nothing scarier than a ghost who's out of his mind. Posted to the ghost's subreddit, Random Doge 47 explains, went to the Hartwood Insane Asylum in the UK and captured something. The mysterious video shows the creepy remains of the asylum, aged with decay. All of the windows are broken out, leaving gaping empty black holes, except for one window. Someone is standing in the top left window of the asylum, an asylum that that's locked up tight. Oh my Somebody's head popped at the top of <gasps> So what is Oh my I need to go. <laughs> I get that in video. <laughs> I'll just get that in video. <laughs> The Redditor writes that the lower windows are too high to climb into, and the upper floors are collapsed. So what is this figure? And how did it manage to get in? And if the floor really is collapsed, is it just hovering there? Some in the comments think it's an owl. Others think it's a person experiencing homelessness. But most agree that it's something from which to flee. With Key Razmataz1572 writing, Feet don't fail me now. Agreed. Time to hoof it out of there. Number 31 A man is riding down a poorly lit Indian highway when they barely avoid a pedestrian who is staggering in the middle of the road. Yet when he turns around seconds later, the man is nowhere to be found. Now he is determined to find the man again. He turns back around and retraces his steps for almost a full minute. Then he realizes he's all gone, grows extremely uncomfortable and speeds away. The only non-paranormal explanation I have is that maybe the pedestrian got scared and hid when he saw the motorcycle turn back around. Let me know if you think that's what happened, or if this was a genuine highway ghost encounter. Number 30 there's a little ghost girl in my hallway, says a YouTuber named Kyleo Fisher, and I agree. You can probably see it too if you know to look here. If you stare into the darkness long enough, you'll see it. The barely noticeable outline of a figure with its arms down, neck bent, staring ahead. It can't be Kyleo because he is holding a camera, and this ghost girl in the hallway has her hands at her sides. Tell me if you can see the creepy figure. And if you still don't see it, don't worry, I've got you covered. And in my opinion, you can definitely see the pale outline of a ghost girl much better now. That's just beyond creepy. Number 29 Danny keeps noticing footprints in the snow leading up to his house, wide and spaced far apart. He checks his CCTV system only to discover whatever is making the tracks is apparently invisible. Seven seconds into the video, snow patches fly up for no reason at all. Danny suspects that this is a ghost because absolutely nothing was nearby. The long tracks do kind of look like someone kicking their feet as they are being dragged, but I'm not sure what to think, so maybe you can help me decide. Number 28 Dark, damp caves bring only danger to wanderers. And here's another proof, published by Solo Paranormal in January of 2022, and credited to Victor Perez. This encounter is super creepy. Although we don't have context for this video, from what I gather, the cameraman is navigating through a cave system in a vehicle. There appears to be an opening overhead off to the left followed by another section of the cave. But what is that to the corner on the left? Something appears inside the cave in the darkness, a strange sliver of light. 
It appears only for a moment and then vanishes. What is this light in the darkness? I guess exploring that cave is the only way to find out. Number 27. This intruder can walk through walls. Posted to the r slash ghost video subreddit. A scary figure was captured on redditor Ale Oops friend's surveillance feed at around 1 in the morning. The video shows a dark and empty yard. At first, nothing appears unusual, but watch the back doorway. About 30 seconds in, a pale figure can be seen walking from left to right. You can see it outlined in the dark doorway, but if you look closely, it actually shows up seconds before, appearing semi-transparent as it walks past the exterior wall and turns into the doorway, disappearing inside the house. While some in the comments think a genuine spirit has been captured, Others suggest it's a combination of a prowler and a distortion from the cheap night vision camera. Honestly though, either is terrifying. Number 26 who is standing at the end of the hallway. Published by Find Ghost in December of 2021, this short clip captures a ghost girl on camera in a haunted home. As ghost hunters are searching around this room, the camera pans around. Look closely at the end of the hallway. A creepy figure can be seen standing there with long white hair and a darkened face. When the cameraman pans back a moment later, the figure is gone. Would you leave? The caption says. I'm already gone. Number 25. There's a reason no one parks here. Published by Haunted Forest Monsters in May of 2019, this creepy clip caught a mysterious figure on a parking lot security camera. Captured around 9 p.m., the dark parking lot shines as though it's recently rained. After a moment, a semi-transparent figure is seen traveling from the left side of the lot to the right. Yo, what the f It doesn't stop as it meets a median filled with trees and bushes but appears again in the next parking lot over. Is this a meter made phantom? Or did this once living being lose track of his car for so long he lost his life in the process of trying to find it? I know I see it. Number 24. A member of the Urban Ghosts Urban Exploration Team goes to a church that he believes has been taken over by a great evil. Watch this part and tell me if he kicks something nearby or not. Last time I was. Oh. About three minutes later, he hears this noise coming from somewhere outside. It doesn't sound like an animal, and it certainly doesn't sound like a person. So is this a ghost? Outside, all of the lights are now on, when hardly any were before. Supernatural or just a timer. And one last thing, while walking around the perimeter, he chances upon this creature staring back at him through the window with red eyes. But since another red light is caught in the very next window over, I think it could just be the reflection of brakes from nearby traffic. Number 23. This house is supposedly haunted, and the family room reportedly has the most activity out of anywhere. As you can see in this close-up shot, there is nothing out of the ordinary about this mirror at all. But once the paranormal investigation is underway, a woman's colorless face appears in the upper left quadrant. She is staring directly at the camera with two black holes for eyes. Her thin lips and nose clearly visible. As far as I can see, there is nothing in the room that could cast such a strangely vivid reflection. Number 22. While driving down a cemetery bypass road, a creepy figure was spotted in the darkness. Published by Asmani Tagat in April of 2022. Dressed in white, this ghostly woman was captured on camera by the driver. As they approach the woman, she continues to just stand there. Only her long dark hair and white robe move slightly with the breeze. What is this woman doing? Is she warning them? Or should they steer clear? Number 21. 
A YouTuber named Yankee Reb travels to the haunted battlefield of Gettysburg, Virginia, and stands before an old battle cannon. He grows very still and records nothing but darkness for a full 20 minutes before any paranormal activity occurs. As the night progresses, a lone soldier silently marches around the cannon and stops just outside of the muzzle, which is where you would stand to reload it. Holy, holy c Down by the cannon, you see that? Oh, what is that? I say it could be a soldier because, aside from the historic location, I can also kind of make out the old style sash and hat that some soldiers used to wear. No way. What is that? I have no idea. Did you get that on the camera? I, it's recording. Oh my gosh, did you see that? His attire is most visible at around the 1 minute and 58 second mark, so that's when you can get the clearest and most direct look for yourself. Let me know if you can see what he has on. Did you, honestly? I, I wouldn't believe it unless we recorded it. Maybe this soldier in particular was accidentally taken out by his own cannon while reloading, which used to happen quite often back those times. Number 20. Alex Griffin runs a sports channel nowadays, but years ago he was briefly into conducting paranormal investigations at the most haunted places he could find. One such foray was the exploration of Borlay Church, a place where organs are said to play by themselves and chanting can be heard from inside. There's also the ghost of Katie Borham, a housemaid who was said to have lost her life under mysterious circumstances that could have involved unknowingly ingesting toxic chemicals. Katie is the ghost they are hunting tonight, and so Alex Griffin and his friends logically start exploring the old haunted cemetery for paranormal evidence. They make the mistake of disrespecting her name along the way and start hearing some scary noises soon after. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what to say. Just shut up, Katie. Katie! What the f? What the f? The amateur investigators run away at first, but soon agree that they can't leave the mystery unsolved and need to find more paranormal evidence. They return to the cemetery and the bravest of them steps forward to taunt Katie into showing herself. See? So I didn't see anything but he senses a ghost and I tend to believe him. After all, he was the one trying to impress his friends the hardest, so I don't think he'd run away like that and risk embarrassing himself unless he was really scared. The paranormal investigators step forward as one, and a single light glows in the woods even when their camera is not shining on it. It's not exactly the best paranormal evidence ever recorded, but the timing is definitely odd and makes you wonder what this light could be. And with their backs turned, the noise returns. It sounds like one of them would have thrown a rock or something and hits the top of the tin roof. But then again, this is exactly the kind of paranormal activity that this place is known for. It's years later and not one of them stepped forward to take credit for throwing a rock and scaring the group. So maybe this supposed paranormal activity is real after all. Number 19. A YouTuber named Joey Concialdi is joking around with his friend when he pretends to dive under the covers to be silly. As he is doing so, the thin bizarre outline of a scrawny shadow person is seen behind him for a split second and by the time he comes back up it's gone. Joey is certain that this ghost sighting is real but I'm wondering if it was just the banister seen a few seconds later. It looks to be in a different position and not as dark, and therefore probably was not it. Number 18. A YouTuber named Doritos Reaction is doing a 24-hour challenge in a relatively normal-looking hotel, except it's supposedly haunted by the spirits of numerous children. Now, while wandering around the hallways late at night, he wants to see if the rumors are true, and apparently he gets his wish. Was that a kid? Dorito manages to catch the dark silhouette of a boy running down the hallway at full speed. Notice how the boy's footsteps don't make a sound as he sprints away. Dorito rushes back to the elevator, only to find the doors opening and closing on their own, so he takes the stairs back to his room instead and doesn't leave for the rest of the night. I think this may have been one of his friends pretending to be a ghost, but then again, I'd like to get your thoughts.
Number 17. What happens when you're on an extreme ghost hunt that goes horribly wrong? Published to YouTube in July of 2020, Simply Sarath can answer that question. He suggests using earphones to get the full effect of what happened to him and his crew when they got trapped in by unseen forces while exploring this bungalow. In the video, they wander through the dark abandoned house. It's raining outside, which adds to the creepy ambiance inside the home with its empty windows and doors. Nearly straight away, they keep hearing noises that makes them jump and search around for the source. The home is nightmarish, with bats or birds swooping down from the ceiling every so often. At one point, at 14 minutes 30 seconds, they hear footsteps above. At another point, there's a loud bang at the end of the hallway they're hovering in. While talking through the spirit box, they feel like something is at the end of the hallway again. They run for a moment, but then stall to talk again to the spirit box. They must have felt trapped like rats as they kept hearing noises on opposite ends of the hallway. But thankfully, they eventually escaped with their lives. But did something else come with them? Number 16 World famous athlete Lionel Messi was the world's highest paid soccer player for six years straight. And before I get flooded with comments, let's all acknowledge the sport is called football everywhere else in the world besides North America. But Messi also has another distinction, being one of the only soccer players to have a paranormal moment caught on live television. He is doing an interview from home when this mysterious figure is seen in the window. This could be someone from the media, but there's only one problem. This seems to be an interview done over the computer, meaning no need for a television crew here. Messi doesn't seem phased by the figure, so it might have been a family member or a friend in the room with him. With that said, the way they stand still is a statue the whole time. Has people wondering if this was a real ghost sighting video or not. If this were paranormal, I think he would have turned around. But unless he addresses the video, I guess we won't know for sure. Number 15 I am looking for more information about this scary video because I could not find the brave ghost hunter who caught all of this paranormal evidence on camera. This house has a dangerous gin inside, a spirit bent on scaring the ghost hunter away. <laughs> The door seems too far away for him to be opening it with his foot. Later, a bucket on the floor mysteriously moves all by itself seconds later. And when he looks up, this shadow figure is caught in the light of his camera. And when he turns around, nothing is there. But the carpet flutters as if a stampede is coming through. I don't see how they are faking this part. So I am inclined to believe this might be real paranormal activity caught on tape. Number 14 The Jordanian Ghost Hunter, known only as Mr. Harith, is back at it again with more scary stuff caught on live stream video, this time while exploring an abandoned house once inhabited by an alleged witch. This could be one of his friends, but each time he looks in the room, the witch was just in. The figure has disappeared. Things get really weird when this ghost caught on live stream mysteriously disappears as well. This might have been caused by a live stream delay, except it doesn't drop frames and the resolution stays the same. The ghost witch is simply there one second and gone the next. 
Number 13. A man follows his girlfriend everywhere with a camera to annoy her because he thinks it's funny. He was never expecting to have caught the scariest moment of his life on tape instead. A fully clothed figure reaches out for him after his girlfriend has left the room. When he pulls back the curtain, it's mysteriously gone. The paranormal moment looks scary, but I think there's a strong chance it's scripted. 38 seconds is when there could have been a jump cut. A jump cut is when they stopped recording, let the actress out of the shower, and start recording again to make it look like no one is there. Also, at 42 seconds, it doesn't look like the shower is on. Number 12. It's after midnight and a YouTuber named Angie the Green-Eyed Angel is exploring a ghost town that is completely abandoned. She isn't even finished the introduction to her video before weird stuff starts happening. It took me a couple of listens, but I can actually hear the wind whispering her name here. Abandoned ghost town. Hopefully you can see it behind me. I swear, I just heard my name. Apparently, the wind has other things to say as well. Strange noises continue to follow Angie as she sneaks through old buildings filled with spider webs and rotting architecture. After about 20 minutes of exploring, Angie stops and thinks she sees a grayish figure looking back at her. Oh, I don't know if the camera can even see it. <laughs> Footsteps from behind send her screaming into the night. Number 11. This bizarre video of Space Mountain was recorded by a YouTuber named Jake Tungsten. Jake originally recorded it just to have a memory of the thrilling ride forever, but when he reviewed it later, he saw what in his words was a real ghost. Some sort of phantasm does seem to briefly materialize and hover in the right side of the screen as the roller coaster passes by. Then the same thing happens as the roller coaster climbs upwards. Finally, a transparent figure briefly appears to the right of the track during the descent. I'm not sure if these are real or just some sort of hologram projections created by Disney, but the man who recorded this is absolutely convinced that he has caught a ghost on tape. It could even be the famous Mr. One-Way ghost seen in the previous video. If you have ever seen anything similar on the Space Mountain ride, let me know. Together, maybe we can verify this rumor or finally put it to rest. Number 10. A car sees a ghost on the side of the road and pulls over to record. They see nothing but darkness, so they slowly inch forward. Scared yet certain something paranormal lies ahead. Looks like they were right. Hey, hey, They've caught a ghost sighting in their headlights, but not for long as the figure disappears into the night. Suddenly, they are no longer curious about what they saw and only want to get out of there fast. The figure is much taller than the average person and towers over their car. Something tells me they aren't the first travelers to witness this roadside phantom, and they are also probably far from the last for that matter. Number 9. A man is in a Mexican graveyard at 1.28 in the morning to see if a local legend about a crying girl is true. He has been waiting around for a while and is about to leave when suddenly he hears someone sobbing and sees a girl kneeling in the distance. He calls out to see if she is okay. Amiga! Niña! I think it's strange that he would go to the graveyard all by himself, but then again, 
He probably didn't think anything would really happen, or maybe he couldn't find anyone brave enough to go with him. Either way, if he had more witnesses or a better camera, then I would be more inclined to believe this video was legit. Number 8. What is it like to have a bad encounter with a demon? You're about to find out. Published by Dark Life in December of 2021, this ghost hunter is thrown from above and not so politely asks why he came. When he asks who she is, she responds, and when he later asks that she state her name, her real voice comes out. Later, when no one is answering him, he hears a noise coming from the next room, and that something appears to get aggressive with him, pulling him to the ground. That's when his battery runs out. Did he make it out alive? Well, this video did make its way online, but let's say only the demon knows for sure. Number 7. Lizzie Arts is freaked out in her own home because a ghost is haunting her. Just woke up to smoke. Weird things are caught on camera all of the time. Really creepy stuff like when the ghost kept setting off the smoke alarm all night. I'm home alone. I know which one it is. It's my one. It's right over there. The ghost seems to turn the smoke alarm on upon her mention. We have two more smoke alarms in the house. and instantly stops when she yells at it. You need to stop that! Oh, no, that scares me. There are two other smoke alarms that the ghost is not bothering with, just this one by her room. I think she should try changing the batteries and see if it still happens. If that doesn't solve it, then that means this video is really paranormal with more creepy videos to follow, I'm sure. Number 6. Gabby Licht has seen a ghost. Published in September of 2018, Gabby shares her ghost story while also showing footage she captured on camera. The scary video shows the door of her room opening and closing slightly back and forth. She also says the knob is jiggling. When I had a ghost experience, but I'll put the video here. Um, you can kind of see the handle just like wiggling back and forth and it's kind of weird. It didn't freak me out that bad, but it's kind of strange to have it on video. I showed my parents and it freaked my mom out, but I've had other stuff happen, so it was just kind of interesting to get that one on video. Um, but this next one, I guess... Gabby has been experiencing the paranormal for something like eight years now, and this is just one event she captured on video. Is something trying to communicate with her? It sure seems that way to me. The big question is, what is it saying? Number 5. Shimeo, New Mexico is where you'll find the famous Ghost Garage, a paranormal hotspot along the highway where a ghost or two just might climb into your car. This person thinks they have a real paranormal video of a spirit caught on tape in this video. I kind of see what he's talking about, but you really must pay attention or you'll miss both of these two ghost sightings. Do you see their faces? I think I might. Then again, I would like to see the original video without the filter. Only then will we know what these bizarre figures truly are. Number 4. Emergency workers gather outside of a room where something terrible has happened and lives were possibly lost. As the camera zooms in, it catches a scary looking figure peering back at them. 
its neck twisted so many times that it has become long and thin. The closer they zoom in, the more facial detail I see. Its face is half shrouded in darkness, but I can see the eyes, and it has tall black hair. Or maybe it's simply a crack in the wall. Number 3. Don't you hate it when you're alone in your haunted house and the ghost girl comes out to play? Published in March of 2018, YouTuber Gencore shares this video of what he claims is the Ortega ghost girl. The man taking the video greets viewers, showing them around his living room. He then gives us a tour of his home. At one point, a stand-up fan in one of the rooms falls over, apparently of its own accord. You'll find out later that this is the haunted room. He leaves, lights an incense stick, and after a while returns to the scene of the incident. A toy moves out from under the bed as the man speaks to the spirit, saying they told him she wanted to talk to him and that he's going to close the door. You hear a sing-song voice, that of a little girl. Dios Santo. Dios. Dijo hola. When he shuts the door again, a loud banging is repeatedly heard. He opens it to find a basket in front of the door, not where it was last seen. Needless to say, he hightails it out of there. If you have no idea what's going on here, Aries Bautista has you covered in the comments. She writes, The girl played three times hard. He should not have opened. It is assumed that by touching three times, he opened a portal that the demons used to enter. Well then I guess he should have kept that portal closed. Number 2 Everyone likes a good bedtime story, but what if the entity who tucks you in is a ghost? A viral Reddit post appears to show this intriguing episode caught on webcam. Redditor Cheyenne Rochelle wrote, My dad has been feeling his sheets being messed up with, and someone's sitting on his bed in the night so he set up a camera. Look at the sheets lifting up and what comes out of the side of it. It like dissolves into thin air. The creepy footage does appear to reveal what Cheyenne describes, the ghost that's been haunting them. As Cheyenne's father sleeps, the sheets creep up at one corner. Then what appears to be the head of an apparition shows itself before vanishing. As the sheet drops back to the bed, those who believe are all in with a paranormal hook, line, and sinker, with one Redditor saying, he might as well just go ahead and throw the whole house away. What do you think? Can you explain this? A few have tried on Reddit, but with nothing concrete, it remains unexplained. I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next 5 seconds? Because I upload 4 new scary videos every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Number 1 a YouTuber named Tracy Slaughter and her family hear a disturbance at the top of the steps, and they grab the camera to record what they are seeing for proof. It starts out very hard to see at first, but soon a pale white outline slowly appears against the wall. The head becomes visible in the very center of the room where the two wall patterns meet. I didn't say lights. Oh you God. didn't say lights? Did, did, did you say go across? A light go across the top of the landing. If you still don't see it, don't feel bad. The next part is much more obvious. Keep looking at the center of the stairway to see it. It's only just gone across the top of the landing, and that's moving. Did you ever see it? <laughs> a being of pure white energy rushes down the steps and heads straight at them. If you play it in slow motion, you can see something actually comes around the corner and charges down the steps at them, sending everyone scattering. I guess this could be special effects, but I would like to get your opinion. The way everyone screams at the exact same time with true panic in their voices makes me think it could be real, in which case I'm glad they got out of there fast. If it was rushing forward to possess one of them, then I truly hope it does not succeed. Are you easily frightened? Well, you're not alone. These 30 scary videos are scaring thousands of viewers. 